Peter West. Okay, your question. Now that we are on the post-pandemic time, what do you think is the lesson we got during the pandemic that the most of the people ignoring now and why? Blinking cough. Sa Tagalo. Ngayon na nasa pagtatapos na tayo ng pandemia, ano sa tingin mo ang aral na natutunan natin habang nasa pandemia na pinabaliwala na ng mga tao na pinabaliwala na ng mga tao ngayon at bakit? Thank you. For me, this is the discipline. Ang disiplina ang ating ang disiplina ang ating uh, kailangan ngayon patapos na ang pandemya na nangyayari sa atin. Ang disiplina kailangan na hindi mawala sa ating puso't isipan dahil ito itong pandemya ito ay nagturo sa atin ng maraming pagsubok na kaya pala nating harapin. Na kaya natin malampasan ang lahat. Nagutong tayo, nagkaroon tayo ng pagtutupo sa mga trabaho. Ngunit ato tayo, nandito tayo ngayong gabi. Nagsasaya, mayroong pista. Ngunit lagi nating tatagaan na wag nating aalisin ang pagiging disiplinado. Dahil ito ang ating kailangan para sa ating kalusugan, para sa mga tao na sa paligid natin. Dahil ang pagiging disiplinado ay ang pinaka-importante saan mga pandemya o kahit na ano mga gagawin sa ating buhay ay ang lang ating palangga. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Miss Yuki. And our next Okay, your question. If your life becomes a movie, what would be the title and why? Kung ang buhay mo ay magiging pelikula, ano ang magiging pamagat nito at bakit? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I go straight to the board. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, it is very hard for me to convince the judges for me to be able to win in this competition. Because tonight, we are here to express and not to impress. And my answer might be right for you, wrong for me, even correct for you, or even wrong for me. But we are all entitled with it. Given a chance to create a movie and title it, what title would I want to have and why? Well, there's a lot of things that I can remember and I can think of. But the biggest and the greatest title that I can give to the story of my life is the resilient transgender. Why? Because I am a transgender who faced discrimination, who faced criticism, who have been scrutinized, judged, and mocked by the society that I am living in. If I and my story will be plugged on the public, I would like to title it as a resilient transgender. Resilient I am that you can pull me down, but one thing is for sure, I will rise above the ashes. That the transgender that you mocked and discriminated one day, here, standing in front of you, creating and showing you a beautiful movie, that I am an inspiration, that I may be on the downside of the life, but one thing is for sure, I will stand up, stood up. Why? It is simply because I am intellectually capacitated with skills for abilities to definitely conquer everything life has to offer. I believe that that movie will show you that we are all equal. That I, Eunice Villena Aldo Sente, drink the same water that you drink, see the same sky that you, that you see, and stepping on the same land where you step. An inspiration, a story of a brave and resilient transgender human that once rise and will always live a legacy in this community. For I remember that this story will mold someone that you should be strong, you should be brave for you to slay everything life has to offer. Remember this, 
that this story will be an epical na ang baklang minaliit mo ay eto ngayon parang si Maan tatayo at tudurukin ang tao na hindi na sa akin pababa. This is just my humble opinion, no punchline or whatsoever. One thing is for sure, if people can see the movie, The Resilient Transgender, I know I can give a legacy and a story and inspiration to others for I believe that what you do for yourself dies with you. But the legacy, the memory, and the story that I can share will always remain eternal. I know I might be the second to answer the question, and there will be greater than me. But if you wanted more clarification and want to talk about my answer, call me, for I'm free for a cup of coffee. Thank you. Thank you so much, our candidate number eight, Miss Jody Santa Maria. Okay, our finalist number seven, Gasini Ganados. Pick your question. Okay, this is your question, candidate number seven, Miss Gazzini Ganados. What harsh truths do you prefer to ignore and why? What harsh truths do you prefer to ignore and why? Anong masaklap na katotohanan ang pipiliin mo na lang, baliwalain, at bakit? Anong masaklap na katotohanan ang pipiliin mo na lang, Baliwalain at bakit? Thank you so much, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, panel of judges, I don't want to be some cliche or romantic, but allow me to answer this question straightforward. Because as far as I know, the more you talk, the more you commit mistakes. Ano nga daw ho ba ang harsh o masaklap na katotohanan ang nais kong baliwalain? Wala hong iba, kundi ang misconception of this pageant. Why? We cannot deny the fact here in the Philippines, maraming tao ang alam, nasa isip nila, na only white women can bring home the crown. Yes, that is true. Na kung maputi ka, ikaw lang ang may karapatan at may kaayang mag-uwi ng corona. Ngunit lagi natin tatandaan, that is true. That black lives matter. Therefore, never ever underestimate the power of black beauties. Kagaya ho sa pagimbalak na ito, look at the other candidates at Malibang. They are all white. I am the only black. But one thing is for sure, ako at ang balat ko ay parang isang patak ng langis na kahit ihalo nyo po sa isang basong tubig, ako at ang balat ko ay aangat at aangat pa rin. Judges, always remember this, na huwag natin ibababa ang sexualidad Kulay idad ng isang tao dahil sa alamang sa ating nakikita. Bagkus, ipanalo natin sa gabi ito kung sino ang karapat dapat. Judges, I just only want to say na sa ganitong uwi ng patimpala, tiya may negrang tatata. Thank you. Thank you so much, our candidate number seven. This is your question, Miss Andrea Brillantes. What is the biggest lie you ever heard, and how does it affect your personality? What is the biggest lie you ever heard, and how does it affect your personality? Ano ang pinakamalaking kasinungalingan ang narinig mo at paano ito nakaka-apekto sa pagkatao mo? Thank you so much for this very interesting question. So what is the biggest lie that I've ever heard and how does it affect my personality? Ladies and gentlemen, standing before you, I am a transgender mother. And in my life, I have been discriminated. I have been told that I will not be anything in the world. Sabi nila, wala akong mararating sa buhay. And that 
is the biggest lie that I have ever heard in my life. Why do I say so, ladies and gentlemen? Because I now am a graduate. I am a teacher. I may not be able to teach, but I am able to educate the people of today. With that saying, the transgenders are multifaceted. We are teachers. We are nurses. We are part of the political stand because we fight for what we believe is correct. So how does that affect my personality? It does not degrade me. Instead, it empowers me as a woman. Because I should not give up on myself because you only have yourself as a, soul, as a person. Bakit mo susukuan ang nag-iisang tao na meron ka na palagi mo kasama, kundi ang katawan at ang isip mo bilang isang tao? Dapat hindi mo iiwan ang iyong pagkatao kahit iwan ka ng bawat isa dahil ikaw at ikaw lang mag-aangat sa sarili mo at walang mag-aangat kundi ikaw iso bilang isang bangga. Let's always take in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that this life is accepted by the people because it is what they believe that is politically correct. But we can change what is politically correct by simply changing the minds of the people. And I am here in this stage, changing the perception of the transgender community that we are not a jinx of society since we are the hope of the country. And that will be all. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much to our candidate number three, Miss Adria Brillante. Moving on to our last candidate, Miss Dimpo Romana. This is your last question. Say yung kaso all time. Pula. Okay, candidate number six, Miss Dimpo Roman. This is your question, judges. What is the difference between justice and revenge? What is the difference between justice and revenge? Ano ang pagkakaiba ng justicia at paghihiganti? Ano ang pagkakaiba ng justicia at paghihiganti? Galit na galit na sa paghihiganti. <laughs> Judges, oh, beautiful. 40%. Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Siguro natatapang po talaga sa akin itong tanong na ito. What is the difference between justice and revenge? I always believe na kailanman hindi mo masasagot ang isang katanungan kung hindi mo pinagdaanan. At naniniwala po ako, mga kaibigan, that this particular question really strikes me as an individual. I would like to tell you a story. Four years ago, nang ang inyong pong baklang nakatayo sa inyong harapan ay minsang napusasan at nakulong sa loob ng Manila City Jail sa loob ng tatlong taon. Yes, indeed. Hindi ko po kinahihiya na ako po ay muling bumangon sa inyong harapan not just to improve myself but to educate everyone that justice in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, ano po ang pinagkaiba? The difference between justice and revenge. People say na ang baklang nakatayo po sa inyong harapan, kailanman sinasabi nilang hindi na magbabago. Hindi ka na magbabago at mananatiling kang kriminal at hindi ka pakipakinabang dito sa ating bansa. But ladies and gentlemen, the justice is not on my hand but the justice is in the eye of each and every single individual na makita na ang baklang nakatayo sa inyong harapan ng misa ay kinukot niya at sinasabi ang kriminal ay makikita ninyo na nagiging inspirasyon sa lahat at walabang anuman ang habol ng buhay. Ladies and gentlemen, kailanman ang paghihiganti sa puso ng bawat isa ay dapat hindi natin isaisip. Pagkos nagantihan natin sila ng masama, gantihan natin sila ng mabuti. Because in that particular revenge, definitely, you can claim this what we call justice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every one of us experience this kind of trouble, discrimination, humiliation by the people around us. But always remember, ladies and gentlemen, 
do not put your back life with revenge. But instead, you need to move on with hope for you to be able to get this justice. Always remember the Latin word, Hagas lume, hagas por soy, siempre espejo refleja iyo mañana. Or whatever you do for today should always be the mirror and reflection of the tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you so 